So, yesterday, I posted a angry rant video about some dumb bullshit that was happening in the cartoon world, and that's something I get to do every once in a while, because sometimes I just need to vent. It is my YouTube channel, but I think because of that video, and because of the way I was aggressively moderating the comments on that video, I should really just have turned them off from the start, but because of the way I was moderating them, I got a question on Curious Cat asking me, why do you care so much to clean bad comments from your videos? That seems extremely difficult and tiring. Also, that makes you go crazy because I assume you read all that BS. And I wrote uh, a long response to that. Turned it into a medium post because it didn't fit on Curious Cat, but I feel like I want to share it here as well. A community is only ever as good as its moderation. This is a truth that's been proven over and over again, and which the algorithm wankers in the tech industry have spent decades refusing to understand. I learned it in my years moderating online forums. I learned it watching the way esports is fighting with itself over behavioral standards. I've learned it over and over again moderating my own communities over the years. And honestly, at this point, you'd have to be an idiot to look at the way in which online hate mobs proliferate and think it's a few bad apples problem and not a systemic issue. The only thing you get when you allow someone to say anything they want in your community with no consequences is a community full of people who will say the absolute worst shit and anyone with any shred of decency is either driven away, or they have to give up on that decency so that they can be part of the conversation. If you create an environment with no consequences for bad behavior, you empower people to use bad behavior to dominate the conversation, and you need to have anyone who wants to behave like a good person. If you create an environment, in other words, that advantages assholes, then you don't need to be Charles fucking Darwin to figure out that your community becomes a prime breeding ground for more assholes. This is why YouTube comments are such a raging garbage fire most of the time. Creators have deeply insufficient tools to moderate, and so they don't bother. And then, whoever says the dumbest, most inflammatory thing gets the most, air quotes, engagement, and get to control the conversation because the algorithm doesn't care what someone says, only that a lot of people respond to it. And you can't really turn off your comments either, because then the YouTube algorithm perceives your video to have less engagement and will bury it. Facebook is the same way. So is Twitter. Hell, online publications form publishing strategies around this, intentionally publishing the most aggravating headlines possible to ensure people engage with their content. To give you an active example, the rant video I mentioned that I published yesterday, it got 4,000 views in a matter of hours. It's up to 6,000 now. And it was an entirely content-free minute and a half of just me being angry at a microphone. Meanwhile, things I actually put work into have 10 to 20 minutes of actual content, but can sit at less than 2,000 views after weeks of being available to the algorithm because the algorithm doesn't care about the content. It cares about the engagement. Does any reasonable person think my channel would be better if it was just nothing but unscripted rambling rants at whatever happened to annoy me this week? No, but the algorithm does. Understand, however, that moderation doesn't mean ban anyone who says anything unpleasant for any reason ever. The more useful way to think about it is you have to force people to at least think before they speak and consider how their words might impact other people. You know, kind of like how it works in real life. Kind of how it works in any community that isn't online. Sometimes you need someone to speak unpleasant truths. Sometimes you need an unpleasant interaction with someone you feel is abrasive to challenge your biases and reveal your hypocrisies and make you a better person for having been challenged. Sometimes. But here's a simple and entirely undeniable fact. 99.999999% of the assholes who think they're being the abrasive truth teller telling truth to power fucking aren't. They're not George Carlin, they're not Atticus Finch, they're not the blessed reincarnation of Christ challenging the power of the Romans. They don't take heroic risk to do what's right. They act like slimy dick weasels because they think they can get away with it. And every time you prove them right, you give them more power. So, I enforce whatever consequences I can. Banning, muting, kicking, deleting, whatever. To ensure that when someone decides it's time to be a heroic asshole, They've taken a moment to consider whether they're speaking out to do some good in the world, or whether they're doing it for the loaf. So that's the first part of why I bother moderating my YouTube comments and indeed my Discord community, because I am fucking angry. I'm angry at the ways in which toxic shitheads get to ruin the places I like to hang out, and I want to do something about it, even if it's in small and ultimately insignificant ways. The other part of why I do it is that I mean, well, I'm a middle-class white guy, and I am literally playing this game on easy mode. I get harassment, but I don't get harassment for being the gender that I am. I don't get harassment for being a woman, 
or being trans or being openly queer or being a person of color. I don't get death threats just for daring to have opinions. And I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority and this is just my crazy, silly little idea about how the world works. And you can call me stupid if you think it's dumb. But I think if you're a person with influence, no matter how minor and negligible that influence is, you should use that influence to make the world better as much as you can for the people who are worse off than you. Is it kind of rough on my anxiety and my depression-riddled brain to moderate YouTube comments? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And sometimes I get overzealous in deleting and muting comments that I don't like or that I disagree with because I just need to protect my own mental health and I don't have a team of moderators who can do that stuff for me. But even with these disadvantages, I still consider it infinitely preferable and infinitely less harmful to my mental health in the long run than the alternative, which is to be just another enabler. So yeah, I am a minor YouTuber with a barely successful channel and a comparatively tiny internet following. I don't think I'm out here saving the fucking world, but I can at least pull out the poison ivy and clean the hornet's nests out of my garden so that it's a nice place to be if someone decides to stop by.